Josh, your boy Ross, back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out WWE superstars who desperately need a new finisher. Now this should be very interesting. Um, I want to see which wrestlers he feel like should probably have a newer finisher or update their finisher, and uh, I'm gonna see if I agree with what this person has to say in this particular video. Uh, I do feel like there are some wrestlers that could have some type of revamp finisher to you know their move set but we'll see if those align with the ones i'm thinking of so appreciate all the love and support let's get right into this one man should be a good one we wrestlers who desperately need a new finisher becky lynch manhandle slam mm. whilst becky lynch is considered to be one of the best in-ring talents in wwe there are a strong portion of fans who believe that her finishing move ultimately holds her back Lynch's submission based finisher, the Disarmor, is fantastic. Yeah, it Yet works. It's a manhandle slam that leads to criticism. Yeah, her her submission, even though practically it doesn't make sense, but it, you know, the visual of it, it actually seems more viable. But her manhandle slam, I think a lot of people have said it just it doesn't look as devastating as it should be to be honest the move is in essence a version of the rock bottom yeah and for the move to work and look incredible it requires an excellent sell mm -hmm. the wrestler needs to jump as high as possible yep. and sell the move as a high impact finishing move but if the wrestler taking the move barely jumps the move can look incredibly lackluster uh -huh. jinder mahal the colossus <laughs> now we know jinder mahal just recently got released but the colossus is a move that won jinder mahal the wwe title yet even during mahal's infamous 2017 title reign there was always criticism surrounding the move the move can look sloppy upon execution as sometimes the setup can be messed up and this kills the credibility of the move even though the move can from time to time look terrible if the cell is correct and the wrestler mm -hmm. jumps up high enough, then the move can look somewhat decent. Yeah, it depends on the person selling. It's not the best looking one. I'm not going to say it's the worst. It, it just depends on how it, it was being sold, really, to make it seem effective. It's not a bad finisher by anything, by any means. I know a lot of people was like, oh, this finisher's trash. And I understand because, you know, with gender, it was association with trash. So I get it. But I think it could have been done properly. Like you saw with this clip, AJ Styles sold it perfectly. He made it look devastating. Braun Strowman running Power Slam. For uh, someone yeah. that is such a powerhouse, Braun Strowman could surely use a more impressive looking finisher than a running Power Slam. Yeah. The Power Slam is fine as a signature move, and it's even won Strowman countless titles in WWE. Yet seeing Strowman use a finishing move such as a powerbomb or something with more intensity would truly freshen up his established moveset. Bailey Rose I hope I hope he's able to. Whenever he does get back in the ring, I hope he has some updated version of it. Because it's just a power slam. Maybe back in the day, like 70s, 80s, you know, that probably would have worked, you know, but in today's wrestling, someone that size, I would think it would probably be a, a different power move because the power slam is cool, but I do think he does need an update, and I hope they, uh, you know, they allow him to. Plan. When Bailey turned heel a number of years ago, she decided to debut a new finishing move, the Rose Plant. Mm -hmm. The Rose Plant is a stark contrast to the Bailey to Belly, yet the move is still hard to accept as a credible and legitimate finisher. Similar to every other finishing move, if the move is sold effectively, it can look great. Yeah. Yet if the wrestler taking the move holds back, it can look truly abysmal. Uh -huh. Logan Paul, takedown. I don't know. What y'all thinking? I don't have a problem with it, the rose plant. I like it better than uh, Bailey to Belly. I think that's what it was, Belly to Bailey. I think it was Bailey to Belly, something like that. I, I, I wasn't always a big fan of that move. You know, it, it didn't really look that impactful. If anything, this one, I can appreciate. But at the same time, it, a lot of these really come down to people selling it as well as they possibly can. Well, Logan Paul has delighted fans since making his WWE debut. Paul uses a number of moves as finishes, including the frog splash and a knockout blow known as one lucky shot. Mm -hmm. Outside of this, Paul has also started to use a takedown style move following his signature punch. And this was first seen in a match with The Miz in early 2024. The move is fine, but it lacks an empathetic yeah. end to Paul's matches. Jane Jimmy Uso, super kick and... Yeah, nah, it, it, it can be something different. I, 
I'm sure they're still trying to tweak a really good finisher for him because I feel like that was it's kind of generic. They got to give him something better because he can do a lot of moves. So just got to give him something better that fits his style. Hopefully we may see that in the upcoming weeks he's supposed to be facing um, in Cody Rhodes. So we'll see if he starts using that or just use the knockout punch. I'm not sure. Splash. But since the Usos went their separate ways in 2023, both men have kept the same finishing moves. Mm -hmm. Jimmy and Jay both use their top rope splash or a super kick as their finishing move, and whilst these moves are fine, whilst the two are linked as a team, as solo acts, they don't work as finishers. Yeah. This is especially the case for Jay Uso, who's emerged as one of the top baby faces in the entire company. Jay needs a new unique finishing move that separates him away from his brother. LA Knight and and here's the thing about that I know he's been lately using the spear as a setup it needs I don't have a problem with the the Uso splash but I do think the super kick it, it needs to be something else especially in his solo run and it does need to be something else I'm not sure what it could be y'all let me know down below what moves y'all think Jimmy and Jay should use while they're you know separated and doing their solo thing because i don't have a problem with the splash using that as a setup but i do think it could be something else to kind of show their individuality you know so bft when la knight became a main eventer in 2023 there was some concern that la's bft finishing move would hold him back the move is passable for a mid-card actor but is the move believable as a finishing move that could defeat the likes of roman reigns and cody rhodes well, WWE have worked endlessly to present the move as credible, and LA even defeated AJ Styles with the move at WrestleMania 40. Notwithstanding this, there are still fans that believe that the move looks weak and that LA needs to debut a new finishing move. I don't know. Dominic I like the BFT. I like the BFT. It's, it's, it works, once again, depending on how someone sells it, but I like it. I like it. I like the name of it. it you know, it, it's very quick and effective. It, it's one of those boom you're done you know so i personally don't think he needs to change it that's just my personal opinion on it mysterio 619 frog splash one of the things holding dominic mysterio back is that he's still using his father's finishing moves dominic has vastly improved in the ring yet he needs a new unique finisher to stand out for as long as dominic wrestles and uses the finishing moves in question his versions are always going to be negatively compared to his legendary father so it's best that Dominic creates his own finishing move to distance himself from these comparisons. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know when, I get why they're still having him do it because it gives him really great heel heat with the fans using his father's finishing move and stuff like that. But honestly, I think he probably should still keep it because he's he's the ultimate asshole. He's the ultimate heel right now still in WWE the the son that betrayed his father but keeps using his father's moves and disrespecting him i think they're gonna play into that um maybe when rhea ripley comes back maybe he could do something different with his finishing moves but honestly i think it works because he's a chicken shit heel now if he was to say win the money in the bank and actually win a championship which is crazy to even think about then you would probably need to change it up potentially but right now, I think he's good with just using the same finisher as his father. It, it makes sense. It makes people hate him even more. And carrying cross, modified pump handle slam. A certain wrestling moves look fantastic from a visual perspective, yet they fall apart when you examine the logic of the move itself. This is the case with carrying cross's latest finishing move. His move looks great, yet cross starts the move with a pump handle, which adds absolutely nothing to the move and it only wastes time. This may seem a little petty, yet a wrestling move should always be impactful. And some of the best wrestling moves in WWE history are those that can be hit out of nowhere, yet this isn't the case with Cross's new finishing move. I actually Leo, like folks, it. WWE wrestlers who desperately need a new finisher. Be sure to leave your comments down below. I actually like it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I like his new finishing move, even with the setup. I like it. I, I do. I mean, it's, it's similar with... The attitude adjustment and the uh, the F5. you They usually set up for it, look at the hard cam, and then hit the move. And the same thing here. So I'm okay with it. And it looks devastating even when he hits it. So I don't know. These The things, you know, the people, well, the people he listed on here, some of them, I honestly would keep their finisher the way it is. And and uh, definitely carrying across is one of them. Comment down below. Let me know. Are there any wrestlers you feel like should change their finisher 
relatively soon. If they weren't listening to this video, let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support. Roll to 150k and I'm still going to speed the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.